Hello everybody, how's it going? I'm the Tim Eister and welcome back to Dunswell. In this episode, I'm going to be focusing my attention again on Brightwood and we're going to be building the University of Brightwood. So I've chosen a location for the University and it's going to go over here. And the reason why I chose this location is just because this, is, this University, the last one we're going to place in the city, is very posh looking it's very like ivy league-esque <laughs> and i thought that it should be in a very prestigious location so between these two rivers it would look great uh there's tons of room to build so that should facilitate the um the building process and also it's like a weird shape so it's gonna make a little bit of a difference in terms of like how the university looks because both universities that we built so far are very square and they're they're very compact so this university it's going to give me a, a little bit more room to play around with um yeah so i've done a little bit of an oops as you can see all of my university buildings are unlocked and that is because i accidentally loaded up dunswell while unlocked everything was enabled and i saved now I have multiple backups of the Dunswell save, you know, just, geez, the last thing I would want is to lose this save at this point. Um, but unfortunately, I had just done a ton of work and I hadn't yet done my backup and I saved and now I have everything unlocked. But all is not lost. Um, I unlocked everything in here for my education menu. And I think if I check in, yeah, the amusement park pack, I unlocked everything there too, unfortunately. But I think that's it. If I check my uh, pedestrian areas, I haven't yet unlocked everything there and hotels as well. I have not unlocked everything and I'm grateful for that because we haven't finished that yet. So everything else, I don't really care that much because we like the university DLC is a little old at this point and I'm sure you guys have seen countless videos on it and number two is I already have two universities in the city. So you guys get the gist of how it works and, and you know, we already have everything unlocked. So it's not a huge deal. So in this episode, I'm just going to run through the creation of this university in one go. All right. So the first thing I want to do, as I normally do with my universities, is to create a grand entrance. And what I think I'm going to do, I've done a little bit of playing around here before starting this. I'm gonna place a large park in front of our administrative building and I think the old bridge park would suit this area best. So before starting anything, actually I'm gonna pause the game because this area is not gonna have power for the next little bit. And let's just place down this park. Wow, this is really nice actually. We got this old historic bridge, fits nicely with the theme. And I am going to place down a one way going around the park Bloop. just like so and actually let me notch it over by one and maybe use move it to notch it like half a square over just to make sure everything is all symmetrical and there we go. And now let's get into our administrative building right here. Is it symmetrical? Yes, it is. Perfect. Look at that. So let me go into here and we're going to expand this to contain this entire area. I don't know if I'm going to make this island a part of the university yet. I was debating that, but uh, we shall see how the whole area develops. Maybe we'll have some sort of like, I don't know, forestry education going on there. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. And what's fun about this, blah, geez. <laughs> what's fun about this university is we now have parking lots. So I can actually include parking lots in this university as there is in, in most cases. So let's get into, oh, I keep going to my park menu for some reason. Let's draw a couple of paths. And along these rear paths, I'm going to place down our main outdoor study. Uh, 
And this university, because I'm not really playing through the whole DLC as it's meant to be played, I won't be like forced to place down a whole bunch of buildings that I would rather not just to, to like level up. Um, so that's going to be great. There, so there's our outdoor study. Oh, the terrain is kind of unforgiving. Maybe if I just kind of move it up a little tiny bit. So that's going to be our main square. And now we have a ton of buildings. Wow, this is exciting. So we have some dormitories. And for the dormitories, let's place down some roads to access them. don't want this road to be a perfect slope and there we are that looks a little better and now for our dormitories okay so they already have parking lots but let's let's place down a couple more Got to make sure there's plenty of parking for these folks. Okay, so we got that down. And now, uh, what else? So we got some dormitories, a study hall. Now this is a quite large building. Central as I can. I'm gonna try to do something a little different with this university, you know? Should I connect this up? I know I can't. If I use Anarchy, I can. Sure, why not? That looks nice. I think. <laughs> Actually, maybe instead of this curve, I'll tee this off and then it can give me access to more buildings down this way. Okay, and now the next building, a groundskeeping building, which is quite small. And I always feel like this building should be out front somewhere, like easily accessible. Maybe like right here. A futsal club, what is this? It's uh, a futsal club is open for all fans, players and coaches to take for their love of the sport. Okay, I don't know what futsal is. <laughs> I think, is this like a part of another university? I, I can't remember. Anyway, I'm gonna place this building right here in this corner. Okay, yeah, it doesn't have a parking lot, which is good. Uh, okay, so the next building, okay, and then we have our outdoor study, a gymnasium. Oh yeah, and that reminds me, I, I'm probably gonna place down a varsity, um, 
Varsity Sports building over here. Which one haven't I placed down? A baseball park would be pretty cool. And that reminds me, actually, I should probably place down a Varsity Sports Center here somewhere. Probably like the baseball park, just because we haven't placed one down yet. But anyways, we'll get to that once it's time. Uh, okay, so the next building... Uh, which one is it? University? Yeah, this one. Yeah, our gymnasium. Where should we place down the gymnasium? Oh, I know. I think I'm going to place it right over here. And then there's going to be plenty of parking for the gym. You know what, maybe I should include some little parks here and there. Like maybe, oh wow, <laughs> that fits perfectly there. Yeah, that looks really nice actually. Right beside the gym. And then next up we have the cafeteria. So I think this should be pretty central as well. You know, students are always gonna be eating near this main yard here. So I think right here would be a decent spot. University Fountain. Actually, let me take a look at this building first. Oh, shoot. It has a parking lot. I don't really like to put parking lots against these paths because it's kind of unrealistic. You know, you wouldn't drive on this with a car. So what I can do in this case is delete this. Take this road. Extend it up to here. And then do a little something like this. And then take the cafeteria and place it in the opposite direction, just like that. There we go. And now for the fountain. I want to place a fountain, but I'm not sure where. Where can we fit this? Here? Hmm. I'd rather fit it somewhere where it's like perfectly square. I suppose maybe over here. Yeah. And then I'll surround this with a path. Bloop, just like that. Okay, and then next up, the University Library, which is massive. And I think this would look cool right across the road, just like so. And there, shoot, there is a parking lot. But I think, I think I'm gonna let this one slide just because this building would look better. First of all, I should probably lower it. Yeah, this building would look better in this direction. It kind of, kind of sucks that there's no stairs leading out back. But you know, minor details. Actually, I think I'm gonna like, I'm gonna delete this for a second. I'm just gonna bump it out a little bit. I felt like it was too close to the main outdoor area. I'm gonna place it right here and lower it even more. There.
Okay, what do we have next is a math club, which is a very small building again. Where can we squeeze this guy? Maybe... Sure, right here. All right, and then... I think I'm just gonna play sound one of everything, honestly. It just looks better, except the dormitories. It looks kind of cool when, you know, you have a lot of identical buildings in some areas. Uh, where should this go? I'm going to place this over here. And this is the commencement office where... Um, it's a grounds, or it's a venue for celebrating graduations. It looks very, very nice. Honestly, this is my favorite style of universities in the game. This would have looked really cool in Dunswell, but at the time, I really wanted to get into the liberal arts college as I'd never built one before. So now we have the academic statue one. Oh yeah, the, the first one was a fountain. So this is an academic statue. Maybe I'll place this one right here. How about that? Yeah, very nice. Okay, and next up we have an auditorium. Still a quite large building. And this will go... Yeah, let's place it over here. I'll make another little mini grand entrance. Just like so, and then I'm gonna place this building as central as I can. There we go, very nice. And I'm probably gonna put more dormitories over here, I think, it would look nice. And then university laboratories. I'm gonna fit this one here, but again, this building should have somewhat of an entrance. I think I should, yeah, I'm gonna convert this into a one-way. Oops. There. And bloop. There we go. There is our laboratories. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go over all of this again and place down some parking lots. I'd just like to get all the main buildings down for now. University bookstore. Um, oh, actually, I know. I hope there's no parking lot along this road, but if so, it's not a huge deal. Oops. Place it down here, and then I feel like there's going to be, though. Oh, there is, but it's along, it's along the main road, sort of. There's parking lots on either side. But that's okay. Oops, I destroyed that. And then maybe if I go around like this, and then like this. Yeah. Okay, the bookstore is down, and then we have a medical lab. Again, quite large. I'm gonna place it over here, just because we have a lot of room. And wow, I'm actually liking the look of this already. This is exciting. Chess club. Again, a very small building. I'm gonna place this. Sure, why not? Right in front of the uh, laboratories. Awesome. And the next one is our academic statue number two. So where can we fit this guy? Right there. 
sweet. Then, okay, so actually we placed down all of our main buildings. Now we just have the last three, which are the School of Law, School of Medicine, and School of Science, which are massive. But honestly, wait, why is this? Oh my God, I'm able to plop this just wherever. But honestly, yeah, this building would look cool in this area. Let me just adjust it a little bit though. I think maybe like right here. Yeah, that's, that's pretty nice actually. Here, you know what? Anarchy it is. And there you have it. There is the large science building. And of course we gotta have parking. It's an absolute must. Uh, parks. All right, that actually looks very, very cool. Awesome. Okay, so what I want to do now is I'm going to place down a few more dormitories. Maybe like one more here. And why not a couple over here? Actually, I don't want to obscure the view of this building because it looks very nice. I'm actually quite happy with this though. And one thing, however, I'm not really sure what's going to be behind the university. Maybe I'll just include like some, some nice housing or something. Okay, and then over here, I'm gonna do a little something. All right, now let's go around, place down a few parking lots here and there. Just like so. Boop. All right, and here's our main campus. Look at that, guys. It looks wonderful. Wow, it blends in very well with the rest of the city. I'm just gonna detail this a little bit now get it all poshed up and that will pretty much be that so what I'll do is place down a few more footpaths here and there
Oh, that's a bench. Ah, uh, it's fine. <laughs> Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, oh, I don't know if that's gonna work though. Will it work? Let's see. Pedestrian paths, oh no. I need a service point, I need a zone. Okay, never mind. I was gonna place down like a, a two wide path here, but that's not gonna work. You know what? I think I'm just gonna place down another dorm just because this building doesn't have a, a real front. Yeah. All right, so we got our footpaths all laid out. Most of them anyway. Oh, you know what? Actually, would it look cool if I place down... Uh, where are these? Oh, they're way too large. Okay, never mind. I was gonna place down some pavement going this way because if I try this with... Yeah, you know, this is... It's not great with the surface painter. <laughs> Oh, actually, maybe, maybe I can hack my way through this. Um, let's go into parks, actually university paths. Let's turn everything off. And what happens if I run this through here? Oh, it screws up the pond in the middle, but I can fix that if I do this. If I start it here, bloop, end it there. Bloop, perfect not noticeable one bit okay um okay so as you can see i removed some trees now the next thing i want to do is uh do, do, do go down here i think i'm going to place down my school of medicine and the school of science as well i may as well i, I may as well just place down everything and i almost forgot i got to get into the varsity sports area for this campus and actually i think i'm going to start off with the varsity just because it's it's also such a massive building so here i'm going to remove all of the trees no more trees and then let's check out what we have left to place down so i think i've placed down everything the aquatic center basketball arena track and field we have an american football stadium downtown baseball park we need a baseball park in this campus. Now let me just make this zone. I'm gonna make it the whole thing. It won't hurt anything if it's oops, if it's too large. And so the baseball stadium shall go, I think. Where should I fit this? Okay, so I can't place this wherever I want. Um That'd be cool on this island. You know what? I think I'm just gonna run it. Over here like so, and then this road. Actually, maybe I should make it so the road can go straight through. There, and that'll go on to other neighborhoods. And then the stadium shall go right here. Nope. Okay, so this area is gonna need a little bit of terraforming, but this is the perfect location for it. So if I flatten this out, 
and then smooth it out a little bit. Look at that. That is that is wonderful. That looks great. I'm gonna smooth this out too because I want I want there to be a large amount of parking space here. So the parking spaces are four. So if I do four and four, theoretically I should be able to fit two parking lots here. So if I do this, uh, do, do, do. Oh, just barely fits. But hang on, I think I can fix it. If I do just... Nope, that's not going to work. That's going to break it. Here, let's do this. And... There, I'll just make it do a sharp turn. <laughs> this a little bit of that there we go so we got our parking lots for the stadium look at that guys that is marvelous now the only thing we're missing at this point as far as buildings go if I go back into my university campus area is the school of medicine and then the school of science so where are we gonna fit these because they are absolutely massive look at that so this one barely fits here but I think I think I can squeeze it here, probably. Right about here. Yeah, that's... Not sure about the angle. I think... Uh, I think maybe if I have it over here instead. Now, this is going to be a challenge, because look at the terrain. The terrain's very rough. That might not actually be the best spot. But it would look cool over there. Maybe if I if I do a ton of terraforming. Holy crap, guys. I thought I was going to have a plenty of room. <laughs> hmm. Well, maybe if I place this building instead here... Okay, I'm back. I actually just ran out of hard drive space, so I had to clear up a bit of old footage. Okay, so here's the science building. Again, with the main entrance theme. Actually, let's make this a one-way. Um, you know, I might, I might make an exception at this point. I think I'm just going to place it down right here. Yeah, that looks fine. And then what I'll do is on the other side of the building is where I'll place the parking lots. Okay. So that makes some room for the main science or the main medical building. And now last but least the School of Science, which ultimately may actually fit here, if I remove this stuff and then remove this road, let's see if we can make this work. So I'm going to rotate it. Uh oh, no, nope, it won't fit. Oh, but yes, it will. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I may have to make some small adjustments to the river, but uh, let's let's see here how we can make that work. Let's do this, and then a little bit of this. I don't even have to use anarchy. Look at that. And then can we make this work? Yes, we can. Sweet. And I see an opportunity here to boop, make an avenue. Oh, I don't want parking. Sure, I'll leave the parking. There, what do you guys think of this? That is awesome. Oh, now I just gotta hook this back up. All right, there we are. Okay guys, well, um, that is pretty much it as far as plopping goes. I am gonna do a little bit of a time lapse for the remainder of this episode, just because it's getting a little long. It's probably one of the longer episodes I've ever made. Um, but look how nice this university blends in with the rest of the map. Wow, I'm actually really impressed. Sweet. So with that, uh, let's get into the time lapse just to polish up this area and finish it all up. Now with this university, I kind of bent the rules a little bit. I didn't actually play through building this university properly. Normally you have to level your way up to unlock all the buildings and get to the prestigious university status. I didn't do any of that. I just plopped down all of the buildings and I kind of played this university like an art canvas, kind of like I did with uh, a lot of my other City Skyline series. But I would eventually like to get this university fully functional. Um, in fact, I checked the status of this university and it was barely getting to level two just because there was not enough students um, in the university. All the other metrics were fine, but there was just not enough students in the university. So I think um, I'm going to have to boost the population up to a certain point to where the university can actually make its way up to a level five. But for now, at least it looks cool. All right, guys, that is it for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you love what we've built today. I'm actually really proud of it. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. So if you did, the usual, leave a like, leave a comment, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And until the next episode, take care, everyone.